from Nashville, Tennessee. It's the final presidential debate. I'm Kristen Welker, the latest in a long line of female journalists the president hates more than ISIS. Tonight, I will be muting the candidates' mics during their opponents' remarks, which tells you all you need to know about one of these candidates. Wow, isn't this great? Things are going so well for me. I'm down by 10 points and my Hail Mary's calling Leslie Stahl the C word. The C stands for... And Vice President Biden. Hey there, America! This is the last time you'll be seeing me in public till election day, so get a good looky-loo! Mr. President, as COVID cases rise nationwide, how do you plan to fight the pandemic? Kristen, the election's in like three days. I got major senioritis. Basically, I'm only thinking about the post-election trip to Six Flags. This country is a rabid dog that ran off with the shotgun that's supposed to put it out of its misery. I'm gonna actually listen to the scientists, especially if there's a real pretty one who puts her hair up with a pencil then lets it down after a long night in the lab. Look at me! Brains and beauty! Yoo-hoo! President Trump, do you believe America has a systemic race problem? No one has done more for black Americans than I have, except for Abe Lincoln, the only president I know about. You're dang right America has a race problem, which is why I want to take us back to the days when Barack Obama was president, and white Americans could feel fine ignoring the race problem. Mr. President, do you see Russia as a threat to U.S. election integrity? For my response, I'd like to rehash the latest Hunter Biden revelations using keywords that can be cut into an attack ad. Hard drive, Ukraine criminal, not nice, bad stuff. Hey, I'm proud of my unemployable son. Thanks, Dad. You love me so much, it makes me pissed off. I am the least racist person in this room. Kristen, I'm looking at you. I heard you say backstage that you think Italians are a little much. When I'm president, my number one priority will be making windows tiny. I knew it. As we all know, Barack Obama was about to start nuclear war with North Korea. And I had to run into the Oval Office in slow motion and scream, no, think of the children, of which I am four or five. Shit, we're almost out of time and we need to cover the biggest threat to mankind. Just sum up your climate change thing in five words. Green New Deal, but less. 74 years old, don't care. By the way, Kristen, I respect very much the way you're handling this. Nope, we're not doing that. Kristen, you're acting like a real Leslie Stahl right now. Enough! This whole thing is rigged. It's completely unfair that Joe is more likable than me. I'm leveling the playing field with a surprise guest who answered the phone halfway through the first ring. Did someone say likability problem? Listen up, dangerous Donald. Healthy Hillary says you better kick this Pokemon COVID in the Cardi B behind. Oh, that's the stuff. She's like a warm, unbearably itchy blanket. Kristen, you couldn't mute me if you tried. Stay strong, Ghislaine! That's all the time we have. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget, the election is in two weeks! Holy fucking shit!